Let's turn our attention to local politics. In fact, very local, a pre-selection for one of the high-profile nationals. Andrew Clennell joins me. And Perrin Davies, she's had a bit of a, a rocky prelude to this pre-selection. Yes, and we saw Kieran yesterday, Peter Dutton with his revamped front bench. Perrin Davies retained the water portfolio in that uh, reshuffle yesterday. But she could be out of the parliament if she's not successful on Friday. So she's set to face this pre-selection battle against the Federal Secretary of the Nationals, Juliana MacArthur, who is hails from Gunnada, is a lawyer and cattle farmer and a pilot called David Lamb. Now, the two contenders, I'm told, in this race are Perrin Davey and Juliana MacArthur. National sources have indicated to me that at the moment they have about 20 votes each with about... David Lamb has about 10 and there are about 20 undecided. So you can see it's a close race. You can see that Perrin Davey is at peril of not getting that winnable spot on the coalition ticket at the next election. And this will all be decided Friday. Not helping her is this incident that occurred a few weeks ago in the Parliament where she admitted to Sky News having a couple of glasses of wine before stumbling on her words at a parliamentary committee hearing. So... Uh, Perrin Davey was on Sky News Regional this morning. Janie Seal asked her about this upcoming pre-selection fight. I welcome the challenge. One of the beauties of the National Party is that um, we do all have to prove ourselves every time before we come up for election. But um, we don't talk about the process uh, publicly. Uh, that's standard across all political parties. Uh, I will put forward my best case and I will see what the party decides. She's been hitting the phones hard the past couple of weeks with pre-selectors, is my information, Perrin Davey. Will she hang on? Juliana MacArthur and her in a tussle for this top Senate spot in New South Wales for the Nationals. Here she was on Politics Now defending that incident and saying she wasn't affected by alcohol when she appeared at that parliamentary committee, but saying in retrospect she probably shouldn't have had that uh, those couple of glasses of wine before appearing. This is... Last week. And Why can't you just say, my... look, I probably shouldn't have had a couple of glasses of wine? You I'm, know what I mean? I'm absolutely happy to say I probably shouldn't have had a couple of glasses of wine. And I'm also very happy to say that I will be far more aware in the future and I will, uh, I will not be having a couple of glasses of wine when I know I need to go back into the chamber or into the committee. There's Perrin Davey on Politics Now. Andrew Clonell, talk to you soon. Thanks.